Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. Now we have started a new channel, Civils Academy, so you can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now, let's start. The SBM Academy has been inaugurated in which city? So this has been inaugurated in New Delhi and it has been inaugurated by Union Jal Sakti Minister Rajendra Singh Sekhawat. And this Swachh Bharat Mission Academy is a part of Gandagi Mukt Bharat campaign. So the Swachh Bharat Mission Academy is an IVR based free mobile online learning course on ODF+. Now what is IVR? It is Interactive Voice Response. What is ODF? It is Open Defecation Free. So there are two terms. One is ODF and one is ODF Plus and Plus Plus. So this ODF Plus is an initiative which focus on the toilets with water. That means functional toilet. And ODF Plus Plus focus on toilets with sludge and septase management. If we talk about Swachh Bharat Mission Initiative, it has two components. One is rural component, one is urban component. The urban component is implemented by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. The rural component is implemented by Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation. The Supreme Court ruled on the equal heirship rights of the daughters referring to which act. So this act is Hindu Succession Act of 2005. And recently it was in use because of the Supreme Court verdict. And as per the recent verdict, daughters cannot be deprived of their right to equality and they will have equal rights in the property, even if the father died before the enactment of this act. So this act was enacted in 2005. Now as per this judgment, even if the father died before this act, daughters will have their equal rights in property. Now this term, coparsana, what does this mean? It means a person who assumes a legal right in the parental property by birth. Now in this context, few important terms are there. First is, please read about Mitakshara and Daibhag. Which e-commerce platform has launched a seller-driven campaign named Itna Asan Hai? That means it is so easy. So this campaign has been started by Amazon. And it is a campaign to spread awareness that it is so easy and it is a simple processor to enroll on digital platform of Amazon as seller. So the idea is to encourage sellers to join Amazon platform. Now Amazon was also in news as recently it launched online pharmacy services in Bengaluru. Recently Bengaluru was also in news as Flipkart launched Flipkart Quick in Bengaluru and this is a new hyperlocal service which has been started by Flipkart. Now coming back to Amazon, it was also in news because of Project Zero. Recently, Amazon was also in news as Amazon Pay partnered with Echo Group, that is Echo General Insurance, to promote vehicle insurance. Which Indian organization has entered the list of world's top 100 companies on the Fortune Global 500 list? So this company is Reliance Industries and it is the highest ever ranking of any Indian company on Fortune list. It is on 96th position. The ranking was recently released by Fortune. Which Union Ministry launched minimum standards of architectural education regulations? So this was recently launched by MOE, that is Ministry of Education. Previously it was MHRD, that is Ministry of Human Resource Development. Now it has been renamed as MOE, that is Ministry of Education. So these regulations have been prepared by the experts of COA. What is COA? It is Council of Architecture. So the objective of these regulations is to address the major challenges in the field of human habitat. Now coming back to this Ministry of Education, recently it was in use as it launched Pragyata guidelines. So these are the guidelines for digital education. Ministry was also in use because of study in India program. So recently Ministry of Education conducted first ever INDSAT, that is India Scholastic Assessment. So this test was conducted recently as a part of study in India program. Now answer in comment box which organization conducted this test? Which country has provided artificial intelligence based technology and advanced equipments to AIMS India? So this country is Israel. Recently Israel was also in news because of 
OFAC 16. Israel was also in news because of Operation Breathing Space. So as per this operation, India and Israel are collaborating in their fight against coronavirus. Apart from this Operation Breathing Space, few other operations were in news. So Operation Shield is related to Delhi government and it was announced to fight coronavirus. Operation Rap Speed is related to USA and it was launched for vaccine of coronavirus. Now answer in comment box, what was the objective of Operation Desert Chase? Which country has partnered with global drug maker Moderna for 100 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine? So recently, USA has partnered with Moderna for these vaccines. And recently, Russia claimed that they have developed vaccine. And the name of vaccine is Sputnik 5. It is important to note that USA as a part of its Operation Rap Speed has partnered with various companies to acquire COVID-19 vaccine. USA was also in news because of Kamala Harris as recently Democratic Party's presidential candidate Joe Biden has named Kamala Harris as his vice presidential candidate. Kamala Harris is of Indian origin as her mother was from India and her father is from Jamaica. Now USA was also in news as it is India's biggest trading partner. US was also in news as it is the biggest investor in UK. India is the second biggest investor in UK. UK was in news because recently it was the host of Global Vaccine Summit. In the context of vaccine, recently even was in news. Answer in comment box what is the objective of this initiative. The webinar titled Cellular Jail, Letters, Memos and Memories has been organized by which ministry? So this has been organized by MOT that is Ministry of Tourism and it is a part of Dekho Apna Des initiative. The cellular jail is in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Recently Andaman and Nicobar Islands were in news as Prime Minister dedicated OFC. What is OFC? It is optical fiber cable. So recently Prime Minister dedicated submarine OFC and the submarine OFC will connect Andaman Islands with mainland. Now recently Airtel became the first mobile operator to launch 4G services in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. On which day International Youth Day is observed every year? So it is on 12th of August and the theme of this year was Youth Engagement for Global Action. Now International Youth Day is on 12th of August while National Youth Day is on 12th of January. 10th of August is World Biofuel Day and Rajasthan is the first state in our country to implement the biofuel policy. On the other hand, 12th of August is also celebrated as World Elephant Day. The Medal for Excellence in Investigation that is awarded to the police personnel is constituted by which Union Ministry? So this is an initiative of Ministry of Home Affairs. Present Home Minister is Amit Shah. Present Home Secretary is Ajay Kumar Bhalla. Recently, Amit Shah was in news as he distributed electric porter wheels to the artisans in Gujarat in Gandhinagar. And this was given as per Kumhar Shashaktikaran Yojana. Now recently Gujarat was in news as Gujarat announced new industrial policy. Apart from Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh also announced new industrial policy. Gujarat was also in news as Ministry of Tribal Affairs that is MOTA is going to develop nine tribal leaders museum. And out of these nine, the largest museum is going to be in Rajpipla in Gujarat. The Defense Ministry has proposed to procure 106 basic trainer aircrafts for Indian Air Force from which aircraft manufacturer. So it is HL that is Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and recently it was approved by MOD that is Ministry of Defense. To be specific, it was approved by DAC that is Defense Acquisition Council and this council is headed by Defense Minister. Now coming back to HAL. So it is Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and it is a government aerospace company. The headquarters is in Bengaluru and it is under MOD that is Ministry of Defense. It is important to note that HAL HF-24 Marut is the first fighter aircraft which was made in India. Now recently, Ministry of Defense was also in news as it released a negative list of 101 items. That means India is not going to import these items. Instead of that, we are going to 
procure these items from domestic suppliers. Which metro rail network has set up India's deepest underground ventilation shaft? So it is Kolkata Metro. It is important to note that India's first underwater metro project is in Kolkata and it will be completed by 2022. Now Kolkata is in West Bengal and recently West Bengal was in use as it launched self scan app to scan the documents. Kolkata was also in use because of Pokkali. What is Pokkali? It is a variety of rice which is grown in Kerala and it is resistant to salt water. Now the farmers in West Bengal are experimenting with this Pokkali variety of rice in the areas of Sundarban. So that's why this variety was in use. So these were the most important questions of today's quiz. Now we are going to cover important news. Feel free to skip it at your own risk if you do not like the format. So first news is Arrow Second. So Israel recently successfully tested its Arrow Second ballistic missile interceptor. So this is related to Israel and it is ballistic missile interceptor. That means it is going to intercept the ballistic missiles. Next is World Organ Donation Day and International Left Handers Day. So it is on 13th of August and on 13th of August International Left Handers Day is also celebrated. Now 13th of August is also celebrated as Patriots Day by Manipur. Next is India at 75th Summit Mission 2022. So recently the summit was organized by CII that is Confederation of Indian Industries. Next is Arunodoy scheme. So it is a scheme by Assam government and it is a scheme to provide financial support to the farmers. Next is electric vehicles without pre-fitted batteries. So recently India announced that it has allowed the sale and registration of electric vehicles without pre-fitted batteries. That means these vehicles can be sold without batteries. Why this was done? This was done to reduce the cost of these vehicles as these batteries cost around 30 to 40 percent of the total cost of the vehicle. Next is positive pay feature. So this is a feature which was recently announced by RBI and it is a feature to prevent or to avert the check frauds. So this feature has been launched for the all checks of value rupee 50,000 or above. Next is GK Manon. So GK Manon was a veteran sports journalist and he passed away recently. Next is WGDP Women Connect Challenge. So this is a challenge which was launched by Reliance Foundation and this has been launched in association with USAID that is United States Agency for International Development. USAID was also in news because of RAISE initiative. It was also in news because of Math 3 program. Next is HMCL and HL. So recently CCI that is Competition Commission of India approved the joint venture between HMCL and HL. Now what is HMCL? It is Honda Motors Company Limited. What is HL? It is Hitachi Limited. So recently this joint venture was approved by CCI that is Competition Commission of India. Next is SS Mundra. So recently Mr. SS Mundra has been appointed as the non-executive chairperson of IBH that is India Bulls Housing Finance. Next is Transparent Taxation Honoring the Honest. So this platform is a platform of Income Tax Department and recently it was launched by the Prime Minister. So it is a platform for faceless assessment and for the charter of taxpayers. Now two important things. This faceless assessment and the charter would be implemented from 13th of August. But the appeal system would be available from 25th of September. Now why 25th of September is special because it is the birth anniversary of Deen Dayal Upadhyay. So on this day the appeal system will be functional and this faceless assessment system became functional from 13th of August. Next is largest ever loan package deal for Bangladesh. So recently Bangladesh signed an agreement with Japan and as per this agreement Bangladesh will get the largest ever 3.1 billion dollars loan package from Japan. Next is Federal Bank credit card. So recently Federal Bank partnered with Fiserve to launch its independent credit card and it is Federal Bank credit card. Next is Cyber Response Centers and Sanskriti Model Schools. So recently Haryana was in news because of these two initiatives. Now what is the Cyber Response Center? As per government, Haryana is going to set up Cyber Response Centers in every district. So these centers will be formed 
to curb the cyber crimes and these will be set up in every district of Haryana. Second is Sanskriti Model School. So Haryana government will open Sanskriti Model Schools in the state to improve the quality of education. Next is Punjab Smart Connect Scheme and Mulanpur Stadium. So recently Punjab was also in news because of these two initiatives. One is Punjab Smart Connect Scheme. So this is a scheme to provide the smartphones to the school students. So as per the scheme, free smartphones will be provided to the students of class 12th. And second is Malanpur Stadium. So recently Punjab Cricket Association has decided to name its new stadium in Malanpur after the name of last ruler of erstwhile Patiala state that is late Maharaja Yadvindar Singh. So the stadium will be named after late Maharaja Yadvindar Singh. He was the last ruler of erstwhile state of Patiala. Next is AI that is artificial intelligence for agricultural innovation program. So recently Telangana was in news because of this program and Telangana has started this initiative and for this it has collaborated with WEF India that is World Economic Forum India and C4IR. What is C4IR? It is Center for Fourth Industrial Revolution. It is important to note that Telangana is celebrating 2020 as year of artificial intelligence. Next is Karma Sathi Prakalpa. So this is a scheme by West Bengal government and as per this scheme the state government will provide the soft loan and subsidies to the youth. It is important to note that few months ago state government also launched Karma Bhumi initiative. So this was a job portal to help the IT professionals who lost their job because of COVID-19. Next is Novel Innovation and Indigenization Organization. So recently RM that is Defense Minister launched this Novel Innovation and Indigenization Organization. Next is German vocational training. So recently Goa government signed first of its kind tripartite MOU with GIZ India and with Siemens Limited to provide the German vocational training in ITI in Goa. Next is Sarthak. So it is offshore petrol vehicle and it is launched recently and it is for ICZ that is Indian Coast Guard. So this Sarthak is a part of offshore petrol vessel and it is the fourth offshore petrol vessel. Next is our only home a climate appeal to the world. So it is a book which is authored by the German environmental journalist French Alt and this book will be released by Tibetan spiritual leader Dalai Lama. Next is Thorosaurus. So it is a vocabulary book which will be released by Dr. Shashi Tharoor. So these were the most important news of today's video. Thank you and that's all for the day.